Let us see an example here. A current of 10,000 amperes is passed through an, electroly an, an ele electrolytic cell for purifying the copper for 12 hours. Purifying the copper for 12 hours. So, from the question, we are having current. Current is equal to 10,000 amperes. And then time is equal now to 12 hours. 12 hours times what? 60 times 60. So time is equal to 12 times 60 times 60. We are looking for the seconds. We are looking for the other thing, for the second. If now we are looking for the second, because that's the second into time, the question is, what is the mass of copper? So because we are just talking about only copper, we use mass is equal to ZIT, that is A. Therefore, Z is 3.29 times 10 power negative 4, that is copper, times this is equal now to 10 power 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 10 power 4. Then times. Time is 12 times 60 times 60. Times 60, sorry, 60. Therefore, you multiply. So the first question, A, that is A, is all about using ZIT. Um, therefore, mass is equal now to 1.4, 2, 4, 2, 1. And it's then power 5 grams. So I've done this one, A, because we are only talking about the purifying of copper. What if now the electrolytic cell was changed to purifier aluminium? So, what mass of aluminium would be deposited if the cell was? Change to refine aluminium. So we have copper and aluminium. We have two things. We have two different electron electrolytes. If now we have two different electrolytes, so B, we don't use this question, we don't use this formula. We use this one. M1 over M2 is equal to E2, E1 over E2. Now, E1, that is for what we have said for copper. Now, it is 64 over 2. Now, this is 32. And then, E2. E2, if that is for aluminium, that is the al aluminium. That is the relative atomic mass of aluminium 27. About, over 3 is equal to 9. Now, E2 is equal now to 9. E1 is equal now to 32. But remember, we have M1, mass of copper. We have that it is 1.4 1 to 1 times 10 power 5 gram. This is what we have got. Or you may approximate it to clock lamp. No problem here if now you are comparing. Because it is all about ratio. This is now, it is equal now to 142.1, which is kg. Therefore, this is mass 1 is equal to 142.1 kg. Now, how about M2 is equal to what? Now, by using this one, we have 142.1 kg over what we say M2 is equal now E1, that is 32, over E2, that is 9. You cross multiplication. Therefore, M2 is equal now 142.1 times 9, divided by 32. Now, the mass to that is for aluminium. If now you multiply, you refine it is 40.28 kilogram. So, if now you are comparing different electrolytes, use the second law of electrolysis. But if now you are just talking about single electrolytes, use the first law of electrolysis. So the first question is all about copper only. 
But the second question is all about copper and aluminium. So you use this second law of electrolysis. I mean, part the second law of electrolysis so as you may find what is missing. So this is the end of what we call it second, part the second law.